Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you that you can carry up to 300 pounds of gear, or in my case stones, up and over the dunes. I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks on what to do when you're carrying a heavy load. So let's get this thing unloaded and on our way. Let's get started by weighing our stone to make sure that we're carrying 300 pounds. Bag 1 weighs 39 pounds, bag 2 weighs 39 pounds, bag 3 is 41.5 pounds, bag 4 is 44.5 pounds, bag 5 is 39.5 pounds, bag 6 is 45.5 pounds, and the bucket of stone is 52 pounds for a total of 301 pounds. When loading your wagon with a lot of weight, you want to try to evenly distribute the weight on the wagon. Since most of the weight of the wagon itself is on the back, with the electrical and mechanical components, we want to put most of the weight uh, on the front of the wagon. Uh, here I have the bucket that's uh, 52 pounds right in the middle, and then with our six bags of stone, what I'm going to do to distribute that is I'm going to put four bags of stone up front and two stones, two bags of stones in the back. All right. Now we're all set, let's get moving. Now on hard surfaces, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to steer the wagon because you have all this weight over the front wheels. So before you try turning the wheels, I would suggest getting started first. And then it's gonna be a little bit easier to steer while you're in motion. All right, my first stop in Cape May County, New Jersey is Wildwood Crest. Here they build a brand new access down to the beach. So we have a nicely sloped ramp down to the dune, up over the dune and to the beach. Uh, so I'll bring it down and back and then we'll check out something with a little bit more challenging terrain. All right, that was pretty mild, so I'm gonna turn it around in the sand and head back, and then we'll go back up the ramp and check out another spot. All right, when going up steep hills, you're gonna remember Newton's law of motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. So once you get going, you wanna keep going. Uh, this is a most likely an ADA compliant ramp, so the slope is 12 to one or 8.33%, uh, I'll be able to stop on this ramp and then go again. So I'll show you that. But typically when going up hills, once you get started, you don't really want to stop, especially if it's a steeper hill. It just puts more stress on the motor. So let's take a, take a crack. All right, now I'm stopped right in the middle of the ramp and I'll go ahead and get started again. All right, as you can see, I had no problems going up that ramp. Okay, here I am in North Wildwood for our second try up a little bit steeper of a dune. Here's our dunes here. They're uh, well over six to eight feet tall. And then we have a little bit steeper uh, earth ramp uh, that'll get us up and over the dune. Since it's a steeper ramp, once I get started, I'm not gonna stop until I get to the top. So let's give it a try. So wagon was able to power itself. Definitely heard the motor working a little bit harder and it slowed down a little bit uh, halfway up the hill, but it was able to get 300 pounds up this steep ramp up over the dune. All right, I'm in some pretty thick sand here, so what I'm gonna do is just do a 180 and go right back up that ramp. Now, when you're carrying a lot of weight, it's better the wider the turn you take, the better. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a wide turn here to turn around and go back.
One scenario I would not recommend carrying 300 pounds in is going up or down switchback ramps like this one. When carrying heavy loads, it is difficult to turn the handle fast enough to make these tight turns. You could end up getting stuck on the ramp, making multiple point turns and putting too much stress on the wagon. Remember to find a more direct access with a straight shot to the sand when hauling a lot of weight. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. We've proven that you can carry 300 pounds over the dunes in North Wildwood with the beach wagon. Now, I wouldn't recommend carrying 300 pounds all the time, but you can if you had to. Well, until next time, go enjoy the beach.